motherhood lifestyle videos um, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in my October glam bag it's just a regular sample size glam bag of course I'm showing you this side um, I have the video to me unboxing this it is the previous video to this one so if you want to see what I got in there before I try it on go check that out now because right now I'm going to be trying everything on so unfortunately, I got a few add-ons and I was really excited about the Yensa foundation that I got. I ordered it in light neutral, but unfortunately they were actually sold out of that when I ordered it, even though like when I bought it, I bought it in that color, but they ended up sending me um, medium warm instead because like I ordered it, but that's way too dark for me which is unfortunate, so I'm probably gonna be saving that for a giveaway, not sure, because you know, that's only going to suit certain skin tones, so I am considering um, using it as a bronzer because I am very pale, and especially in the wintertime, I live in New York and it gets very cold and I stay very pale and ghostly, so I'm almost wondering if that would be a good option for me, I'm not sure, but I'm not even gonna touch it until I figure out what I should do so if you guys have any um, you know thoughts on that or recommendations about what I should do with it definitely leave that in the comments below but yes we will get going right now as of this moment I only have my little highlighter palette with a mirror this mirror to work with I cleaned my face before this with CeraVe gel cleanser because that's what I use all the time and then I use my herbivore Botanicals Emerald Deep Moisture Glow Oil. I love that stuff. Um, I know that a lot of people who have oily skin are kind of afraid of using that, but honestly, no need. I went to school for aesthetics, and the reason that skin produces extra oil is because there's not enough oil on your face, so it overcompensates to make it oily, which obviously we know is just a down, a downward spiral from there, but it's not a bad thing to use oil if you have oily skin. Um, it also helped clear up a lot of my issues on my face. I stopped using it for a little while when I got sick a few weeks back. We were kind of, we'd been sick for like basically two months straight with short little periods in between where we weren't sick. And I'm talking me, my boyfriend, my five-year-old daughter who just started kindergarten and my little baby. My little baby actually, he only got sick for a very short amount of time and it wasn't that bad, thank God. But since I stopped using it, I have started getting like little breakouts along my hairline, which stresses me out a lot. And, um, but I don't think that's, I think it's a problem because I'm five months postpartum and I'm on the mini pill currently, which apparently causes um, a lot of oil production. So I even am having little breakouts on my head, which makes me disgusted and I hate to say it. Like I have pretty good hygiene and there's like no reason for all of this so but yeah we'll get to it now I will stop talking your ear off but yeah I do not have a foundation unfortunately like from Ipsy so I'm gonna have to use my where is it I'm gonna have to use my NYX foundation and I'm just gonna use the elf poreless primer it's like two in the afternoon right now which is why I'm not going to use anything that's like a Tatcha. Why I'm not going to use my Tatcha primer. Like I'm not going to use anything that's super great. And I'm not going to use anything that I like know I could mess up. Like my last video where I tried on Ipsy products, which I'm going to be posting after this. So check that out if you want to laugh from the very beginning. It does get better, I do fix it, but holy cow, it's really bad at first. All right, so with the Yensa foundation that I can't use, came a sponge. This is a very cute sponge, I like it. Obviously, it feels good quality, I like that it's shaped like this. What am I doing? Where's my mini mirror? 
And I will say about this e.l.f. primer, it kind of makes my face itchy. Not my favorite. This is like kind of a small sponge compared to what I'm used to, which I don't mind. I think it's like a good medium. And this is a lighter shade than like what I am currently. Also, do you guys put your concealer on before or after your foundation? I'm talking concealer for like if you have pimples or anything that you're trying to cover up. Do you do that before or after? Um, tell me in the comments. I want to know because I'm really torn on like which I should do. I kind of just like do whatever I end up doing mostly after I do my foundation actually because I like forget. Also, I can't believe I'm I can't believe I'm using the sponge dry. I didn't even think about. Okay, so first we're going to be using this Cella Quad. The colors are really gorgeous. What will I do? Okay, so first for my corners, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Multi Stick. I'm gonna use it over in my corners, over here, my corners, I'm hilarious. I'm basically going to use it as primer for my eye.
didn't do my hair today. This is like how it was when I woke up. Um, but I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how it looks at the end here. My baby boy is sleeping very close to me and I did not want to wake him up or anything, obviously. Um, so yeah, overall I, I love the um, liquid lipstick. It's amazing. The color is great. The formula is great. I love it. Um, love the eyeliner as well. I, I have a different, just slightly different shaped eyes. This one's super easy. This one's difficult. So if my eyeliner looks a little bit different, that's why. Um, the eyeshadow I love. I only used the top two colors. I'll do another look with the bottom two at some point. I just didn't want to do anything like too crazy and mess it up. But I like the formula of this a lot. It's not very chalky, like I didn't experience any fallout with it. This Pacifica thing with the highlighter and the blush, I like it a lot. I love the color of the blush and I like the highlighter. It's definitely like sandy slash yellow tinted which is totally fine. I feel like this is really good for like summertime. So this is like kind of not in season in my opinion, but it's still great and fine. Like, you know, I think that it's good to have a makeup look that isn't just, you know, according to the season. I think it's fun to switch things up sometimes. Yeah, so all of those are great. And then also this Skylar Fall Cashmere. I really like this. It is kind of, there's something about it that like is not, I don't know. Like it's definitely good. It's definitely fine for fall, but it's not like as fallish as it could be. But it's really nice. Like, I like to put a lot on and then I just randomly smell myself throughout the day, which is super beautiful. <laughs> I love it. But, but yeah, that's all that I have as far as the stuff I got in my glam bag. I like it a lot. I hope you guys like this video, but we're not done yet. Not quite. Um, some of the add-ons that I got besides the foundation that's the wrong color with the sponge. I got this Morning Expert Hyaluronic Serum. Um helps plump and brighten morning skin. I used this yesterday for the first time, oopsies, and I totally forgot, somehow forgot, that it's a serum, so it's like super obviously liquidy, so I like dripped a bunch all over, um, but whatever, I'll try to remember. Um, and then there's this matcha green tea antioxidant priming moisturizer, lightweight oil-free water cream prime skin for makeup, oily combination, normal, even sensitive skin types. This is really, I'm excited to use this. I just didn't want to use it today because it's already 2 in the afternoon and I'd rather put this on on a day where I can actually make all of the use out of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I got this foundation. This is Pressed Mineral Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15. It's a 4-in-1. The color is Golden Medium. And obviously, this is too dark for my skin, but I got it for like a light bronzer like contour because the only bronzer that I have is um, pretty dark and I've had it for years like probably four or five years and so I know that I like probably shouldn't even be using that I can tell that the formula has you know gotten not great so I just want to get this and use it as like you know a slight contour I saw it they didn't have it in my color so I got like the lightest color that I could and we're just gonna go with that um, and then, oh my god, I'm super excited to try this. I cannot wait to make a video um, of this with you guys. I think I'm going to like make as many looks as I can with this. But since it is, like, I think these are pressed glitters. Since three out of the four colors here are pressed glitter, I'm going to be using my Fantasy palettes with it. By the way, my Fantasy palettes are literally, it was less than 20 bucks for the two palettes. And it's cheap quality. It's from China. I just got it because I'm not ready to spend you know money on like a big good quality palette right yet i am going to be getting these bags for a while so i figured that i'll collect some nice eyeshadows over time anyway but i'll be using this along with my fantasy palettes and i'm super excited these are so gorgeous these colors i can't even deal with it i'm super excited um 
but yeah that's all that I got I'm sorry about my hair kind of not really I don't care you know I'm a busy girl I got two babies so it'd be what it be but I hope you love this video if you did please like and subscribe leave a comment if you want letting me know any of your opinions stuff like that I'm very open to you know conversation and hearing about what you liked what you didn't like what you think I should try and all of that any tips tricks whatever so yeah subscribe yeah I will see you guys next time